Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. It's an early happy hour. We are getting streamed over into Craft Round the Clock. This is my segment for that group, and if you're not in it, we're going to get you the link to get in it. I think everybody who follows me is in there. I see you guys in there all the time. So, how is everybody today? Come on in. Let me know you can hear me and see me. I think everything's okay. I just got paint all over myself right as I grabbed for the mic. Hello, Tamara. Hi, Patty. How are you guys today? Happy Friday. This is a little bit early happy hour, but that's okay. I feel like, you know, it's kind of like it's happy hour somewhere and it's happy hour right here today. So let's paint. This is Light It Up Week with Craft Around the Clock. So we might have a little twist for this canvas. Can you, can you guys see it okay? Let's see if I need to... <sighs> can you... Hello, Debbie. Thank you for sprinkling. We have two Debbies. Hi, Debbie Gwen and Compson. Hello, Susan. Hi, Tina. Okay, you can't see. I had to wait for a second for this to catch up. Hello, Elizabeth. I think I've... Hi, Leanne and Diane. I think I got you guys. Hi, Brooke. How are you? Guys, happy Friday. Help me get this out there. You know all the things. Good to see you guys too. I love checking in with you guys. Hi Linda, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate you. Um, I love to check in with you guys kind of all week and sometimes the weekends are long. I'm like ready to come back on Monday. So hello Dana, but I do try to devote Saturday and Sunday to family, but sometimes I'll still go live. Okay, so you can see that I already started because I did not want to uh, not get this done and with this being a little bit larger but let me um, sketch on here a little gnome I think lots of us paint gnomes so whatever kind of style you like um, but I, and I'll show you in a second I'll kind of turn it around and show you but I just kind of get the hat on there I love it to kind of come down a little bit and this is just a guide. We can always change it up. We got a nose, a little gnome nose. We got a little gnome beard and a little kind of body here. If you're not using a trace and you're just sketching it out, sometimes it takes a second to get your gnome looking how you want it. A couple of feet. Let's do a little pumpkin right here. While you guys are sprinkling me out and telling me where you're from and all the good things we'll just put that little pumpkin right there and then somebody was saying yesterday he needs curly cues so I'm adding curly cues here I think I want to change up his hat a little bit so bear with me bear with me we're just gonna get this off just a little bit and change up this hat hello Bella Lena glad you're here hi Ocean Breeze Mary and Teresa I'm glad y'all are here I hope everybody's having a good day. Let me know. I know um, we have lots of people who are sick and all of that. So I know lots of prayers are needed too. But for you guys that are here, I'm glad you're here and able to be here. Now, okay, I made his hat taller. And that way, what my plan is, is to draw a little bat here. Just a simple, just a simple, no big deal kind of bat. Because I really, I'm not the best drawer. I kind of generally no it goes like this wait he's got a little body here so that needs to come to the little body right and then like that and like that so there's our little design so we've got can y'all see that the hat the little bat pumpkin gnome and you know we can change this up as we go and kind of fill it in a little different but I think it's gonna be super cute with this moon background and then I'm gonna add a twist at the end, so you have to stay for that. Hello, Kathleen. Hi, Tamara. Glad you're here. You guys, I'm so glad to see you guys. Hi, Deborah. Splash of paint by Deborah. I love all of the art you do. Okay, guys, let's get going. Um, I've got the colors in front of me, which I will name as we go. I try to do the largest parts first. Where's my white? Here it is, hiding. Since I did this, I've got all my, some of the paints over here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the hat. And I think I want lime green, maybe. What are y'all thinking? Lime green, maybe some stripes on there. 
Hi Vivian, hi Lynn, Debbie. Hope I've caught everybody that I've seen the name pop up. Happy Friday to you. Doesn't it help? I don't know why. I mean, even if you're not doing anything on the weekend, it still always kind of feels good to say, hey, it's Friday. Okay, I'm gonna pull my new sour apple. I haven't, well, I guess I have opened it, but I don't think I've used it. Does anybody have any fun plans? I know it's big football weekend for a lot of people. So what teams are you guys rooting for? I'm just gonna come in here. I actually think I want this filbert. And I'm gonna grab my lime green. I'm gonna put a little white with it and it will go farther. And when I say that, I mean um, lime green can be a little translucent and not show up too well. So I'm putting this, this little bit of white with it which will give me better coverage and I'll still cover it up I'm sure you guys let me know what team you're rooting for I have to be for the eight for A&M because both my kids graduated there so I don't even know who they're playing I have no idea but we'll watch we have any Aggies in house today I feel like there's not a lot of us. I feel like whenever I say that, it's kind of crickets. Vivian, thank you for sprinkling, my friend. I hope you're feeling a little better today. You're one that I've got on my prayer list, and so many just have so many things going on. Okay, guys, so kind of come down with that hat. So when you get on something with your chalk, you can totally... Um, you can totally go over it you know it's fine it's not going to hurt it and it won't make your paint look any different so if i feel like i want to widen my hat i can and i'm just getting this on here because i think i want to stripe it or something but you can see why i went ahead and did my background because this will take us the entire time i'm sure Let's see if anybody's telling us. Oh, Shelly Thompson is Aggie all the way. Whoop. So last Sunday, Ron, my husband's a preacher, if you don't know that. And um, he said something about the Aggies. You know, I don't remember how, what he said exactly. But um, I don't even, I don't even know how he worked that into a sermon. But um, he said something. And I just from, you know, Shelly, from just life with Aggies I just belted out I go whoop like that and this elderly lady that was kind of beside me she just looked at me like did you have a stroke I mean she was like kind of like what's wrong with her I was so embarrassed whoops forgot I was at church no it it's all in fun but um I mean sometimes that stuff just belts out because we're so used to doing it you know and whenever I meet another Aggie fan, I usually do that. And it just happens. I don't mean to. It just comes out. You guys know, right? If you're an Aggie, you know. It just kind of... It's it's a really neat kinship, you know. Um, people will tease us and say, y'all are like a cult. And no, of course not. Because, no. But, you know... If you meet another Aggie somewhere, you instantly feel a bond because, you know, we do love our traditions of the school and everything. Okay, so I've got that background color on. Now we can move on to something else. Let that dry. You do? I'm glad, Jeanette. Well, this will be a cute one. I think this is cute for fall. So this would be a really cute porch leaner. Of course, that would be hard to do. I couldn't do it here at this desk. So. But I thought about it. I thought about how can I make that work? Um, I'm going to go to the next largest part. So I'll do his little, you know, body and then the pumpkin. So let me get out. I'll start with the pumpkin because I do like to um, do layers. Deborah, I don't either. The only, the a and the only team I watch. I don't care about the Cowboys or, you know, and I've lived here all my life. I still don't care about the Cowboys. I mean, no, nothing, no offense. I just, I'm not going to sit and watch it. Um, so, Yeah. But a and I will sit and watch. I enjoy the team, and I enjoy seeing what's happening and going on. And, of course, my kids love it. They'll, they definitely watch. So on our pumpkin, I'm just grabbing my copper and my orange at the same time. We're going to start down here at the bottom and work up and start getting this filled in. 
This is a whimsical painting, nothing fancy, so you know we don't have to worry about it looking too realistic. I did a pumpkin last night, guys. Did y'all were y'all with me? Here's the one we did last night. And we painted it and then we put the glass on it and resin. So I you know, if you're looking for a pumpkin tutorial that's more serious, then this would be a good one to watch. And it turned out really pretty. Um just as a painting even before the glass art so that would be but this will just be a fun whimsical because we're very limited you know on time to get all this done but it would be cute as a porch leaner as a card um you know on wood if you have something from the dollar tree hanging around that you need to paint you could do that let your kids paint it you know all the things all the things So I typically will kind of do these pumpkins in layers because I like to, I don't know what to call it other than dry brush. I kind of will let this dry while I'm doing some other things and then kind of dry brush on top of it and it just gives it a cool effect. So that's all I'm doing is kind of getting this filled in and then we'll kind of go back over it in places. Deborah, I saw something really pretty you did. Um, it was a pumpkin, a sunflower, and a lamp, I believe. It was really pretty. I wish I had time to sit and watch everybody paint and do their things. I, I know I miss so much. But guys, if you're not in the Craft Around the Clock group, it's the place to be because you will find your people. You'll find the ones that you enjoy and learn from. And it's got something from it for everybody, from whimsical to serious to um you know crafts hello linda oh thanks brooke oh that's great yes carol awesome aggie all the way and your granddaughter graduated they're good i always wonder will this continue um thanks deb will this continue and keep going will will my grandkids one day go there i don't know you know we'll just have to see i mean I know my daughter actually has said it wasn't the best choice, you know, for her. She went there because her brother went there and the tradition of it and everything. And she, we do love, we love, you know, ever since Austin went there, we love the campus. We love the atmosphere. The people are super cool and sweet. Um, so we love it. But for her major, you know, um, it wasn't really the right school. Um, it just wasn't, but you know. You know, okay, so I'm gonna come in here. I just took the copper that's on my palette here and added a little black to get a really dark brown. And we're gonna come in here and do this stem real quick. Just kinda, like I said, if you want a more serious pumpkin, then watch that one from last night. Cause this, I'm just gonna kinda whimsically get this on here. It won't be serious or, you know, like a great pumpkin or anything. So um, I will kinda come in here and give it some ribs while I've got the brown on my brush but nothing too serious and I'm going to take a little bit of white mix that with that brown and kind of come in here and just add some detail to this stem if you want it to look like a twisted stem you can do that with some kind of lines in here but I just need to get this on here and hurry <laughs> so I don't have time to be to do it you know to do too much to it today but you will so when you paint yours you can make it just as detailed as you want oh Pamela you're so sweet I bet you meant that about the other one though. <laughs> um, hi Carol thank you Cynthia for sprinkling how are you and Jerry today glad you are able to get here you know I knew moving it to 315 might be a stretch for some people but um, Craft Around the Clock had an opening that they needed filled, and I love to be here, so I just, um, you know, changed it from the 5 to the 315 and thought, you know what, we're all going to be ready to have a little break. So even if you still have more work to do, it's a nice little break. I'm going to, um, sometimes I bring the gnome dresses like all the way to the floor, and I just call it a dress because I don't know what else to call it, but his little outfit. Sometimes I bring it all the way to the shoes, but I'm gonna, if I have time, I'm gonna stripe his socks, and I think that will be super cute. 
I am just kind of going around the beard because I will fill this beard in and let it kind of go over his dress so I don't have to you know come all the way up to my chalk line because I know my beard will go over that okay we're, we're about getting everything a little base coat so yeah whimsical is fun I agree I enjoy this type of art um, and especially for our happy hour fun you know it's light-hearted we get to come together and take a break and we don't need anything that's gonna make us stress or have to be perfect or real detailed so hi Sue how are you today oh Wisconsin oh your house cleaning is that where you live Sue I don't know why I didn't think it was I didn't know it was Wisconsin hi Lynn glad you're here too grabbing a different black because that one's just about out gnome robe okay a robe is a good way to word it yeah a robe is a good way to word it now I've got some black on my brush so I'm just gonna pull this white over here and make a gray and I always do gray for the beard first and then I go over it with white but for his first pass and I am gonna avoid the purple because it's not dry yet but we'll come back so I'm avoiding the purple and just kind of getting a layer of gray down here trying to not get my green in here and this part you're just laying it down so it doesn't have to be pretty just get it down hi Ann so happy to see you guys popping in hi Christy I wondered if you were gonna get to make it how are you today I feel like we haven't talked all week Hope you're doing good tell me how your eyes doing I've been wondering and thinking I need to check on you and see you guys fill me in if you have something that you want to tell me you know or message me because if you're on my prayer list I'm thinking and praying for you but I I don't know if there's been updates oh I touch my purple but that's okay it won't hurt anything we're gonna go back over this with white okay so we've got our kind of base on here I'm gonna do a little nose can y'all see okay hope I have been holding it to where you could see somebody will have to holler in a month okay I know it takes so long to get in specialist I mean it sometimes it's like two months or more Oh, Nelda, you should. I'm doing good. Thank you. You're so sweet to check on me. Okay, uh, let's do the nose. We've got some copper out. I'm going to just pull a little bit over here. I'm going to pull a little bit of my white. See if we can get kind of a little tan. Um, if you can't get the color you need, you know, you can always mix. And just, I'm just adding more white. And I think I'll have a pretty good nose color. You don't always have to buy you know all the colors but when they're on sale for a dollar at Michaels that's when I stock up I just watch for that sale then I get usually you know the 20% off or more on top of that or if not then I've got always got my 10% senior citizens discount can you believe I hate that <laughs> like, am I a senior citizen what the heck but whatever I'll take their 10% but 55 and over gets the discount so um, don't forget to to get that when you're there how is that nose is that big enough okay I think it's okay oh hi Jennifer how are you today like who's calling me pretty look at this mess you're sweet okay now let's go into our black you guys be sure and follow our friends you know when you see home sweet create um, a painter's daughter all the ones you go in there and give them a follow if you're not I'm sure you guys are but if you're not you won't be sorry I promise you can always unfollow but if you don't go and follow them you might forget and then you're gonna miss out because Jennifer does things completely different than I do she does mostly crafts and um, but they're beautiful 
and even if the things are not quite your style you can always adapt them to be your style but she teaches a lot of really cool techniques and I love to catch her live or replay or replay so we're just filling in this bat I'm, I'm so afraid to look at my watch because you know I knew that this was gonna there's a lot of pieces to this thing And I'm thinking I needed one more like scoopy down. Yeah, like that. So you can just add it if you, whoops, if you get, if you kind of forget something. So it goes from here, scoopy down, there. Is that better? Does that sort of match? Do y'all like my technical terms, the scoopy down? <laughs> And you can also switch to a detail brush for going into these corners like I am right here. Um, that would be the wise thing to do, but when you're in a hurry, sometimes we just kind of tend to do everything with the one brush. I am not happy with this. Let me turn this a little bit so I can kind of fix this little part right here that is not, sometimes just upside down is not working for me. Is the weather bad? What's it like? What's it doing, girl? Oh, Jeanette, you have hard you have hard jobs. You're standing. Oh, thank you, Trisha. Hi, Melissa. You're standing on your feet all the time. So that's hard on a body. It really is. Okay, bats need the little, you know. We're gonna give them a little kind of a head up here. I did switch to my detail brush. I can't do this with that bigger brush. And then a couple of little ears. I'm gonna have to look at my watch just to make sure I can get this done. Because when I see the time, I'm gonna probably decide what I, oh man, I made that a little too big, but you get the idea. It's okay, we got 20 minutes. I mean, that's not the worst I've ever been. I've, I've, I've had worse where I look at it and go, oh no, I can't, are y'all giving me stars? What does it say? Oh no, that, I'm sorry, Never mind. That just, I, on mine it says over here, it just is showing you my goal, I see. Never mind. I'm not asking, please don't now. I beg of you don't, because then I'm gonna feel like I asked. Please don't. Oh, the, the vines need to be green, right? So let me take my green. If this is a lime green, I'm going to see if I can make a green that I like. And if I can't, then I'll open another one. But let's see if we can darken that up with just, I put a tiny bit of brown in it. I'm going to touch it into the black just slightly. Um, and it'd be just faster for me to open a green that I like. So I'll use this. Um, Hauser medium 20 minutes yes thank you keep it on keep me on track hi Cheryl oh thank you how are you today I loved your craft always love getting to see you she did a, a a large pumpkin and put some kind of lace and almost like a fabric but it was lace and um, lit up inside and embellished it was really pretty so be sure you check MCN treasures and take a look at what she did today. Well, everybody does such cute things. So I, I can't tell you not to, you know, you gotta go see your buddy. At least get in there and look around and something will speak to you and you'll know which one you wanna do. Okay, I might do one over here. I wish I could do my liner brush the way Terry does with the Robin's Nest by Terry. She is so controlled with hers. Everything just turns out so pretty. Okay, let's add to our pumpkin. Let me see. 
should have pulled the brushes that I wanted before I sat down here or when I sat down but I didn't let me just wash this one real quick oh here's the one I want thank you Lori thank you thank you it's a cute one I mean it will be cute okay I'm gonna do um what did I say I was going to do? Oh, my pumpkin. I'm going to add some orange, and I actually want some yellow, too. Always add yellow. Ochre is good. This is just a moon yellow, which is fine. I have this sitting here from doing the moon. Perfect color for the moon, right? Moon yellow. So I'm going to take my orange with a little yellow, and since I'm putting the yellow on there, I'm going to start at the top and kind of go down with it. I want the top to be the lightest part but then I'm gonna just get the orange and come up and kind of mesh those together and lighten that pumpkin up so Just sort of a dry brush technique. You just kind of are dry, kind of like a dry brush on this orange. Without touching my green. Now see, we should have done that before we did the green, but that's okay. I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. And I kind of go over the lines to mute them, the little ribs of the pumpkin. I don't want them just like blaring brown lines so kind of mute those out a little bit we could definitely really fix this up if we had more time and kind of go into that and get all that lightened up too but like I said I'm not going to sweat the small stuff on this it's whimsical and fun so we don't have to be perfect just a little bit of orange with yellow up here lighten that up how are we doing John yes John is your hubs ooh where are you seeing the John's paint pours I haven't seen any. Where are they? And you'll see me kind of going around the curve with this, so kind of stick to the shape when you are painting it on so that everything looks normal. You don't want to go side to side. You want to go down and curve, down and curve. Okay, that's pretty good for that. Okay, let's do beard. I'm going to get some more white out so that I have a pretty good little mix here. And let me grab a smaller brush. This is pretty small. I might need a little larger. That might work. I'm kind of confused where all my brushes that I typically use are. I don't think I left them in the kitchen, but maybe I did. You're painting with me? Oh, Cynthia, you'll catch up. You do great. Okay, so in this, I, I did put down some more white, but I'm also kind of digging down to the gray, and I don't mind if there's a little gray on my brush, and I'm gonna come in here and just do some kind of long wispies with my brush you're letting your brush do the work you're just putting it down press and lift it up toward it sort of at the at the end and getting these little wispies on all around and then kind of just build in you can let some of the gray show from behind if you want to And I usually do the beard in about three layers. So I do this and then I go over it one more time that's got a little bit more gray in it. So it's just kind of a good mix 
um, not just a flat white. Obviously, it wouldn't look as good if it was just a flat white. I like it to be kind of, you know, wispy all around. How's that looking? You can definitely add some rogue, you know, have it kind of going crazy if you want to. Just adds character. And then I do need some more nose. So that was the copper and white mixed together. I used quite a bit of white to get that nose color. You can also use brown, white, and a tiny bit of pink to mix, or just maybe you have that color on hand. It's like a flesh, flesh tone color. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's so easy and fun, but it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna go back into my white just on the tip of the brush. So before I loaded it pretty good. Now I'm just gonna do the tip and come in here and get kind of up next to the nose and kind of fill that in. I don't mind gray showing because you, like I said, I, I don't want it a flat white. I want it, but I do want to fill that in some. And I'll actually like the beard. So I don't even know that it has to have that next coat, but I'll show it to you if I have time. But I'm kind of thinking I may not. I've got 10 minutes. So I need to put some eyes on the bat. And I'm just gonna really, let's use a little tool and dot in our white. Let's see, um, and do it like that. I'm just kind of dragging it down so it's like an oval. But this little tool will kind of help you if you have one. I think they sell these at Dollar Tree. Not this particular one, but just a dotting tool. Um, you know, it's kind of nice to have for things like that. You can use a toothpick or the back of a brush if you have a small one. And then we will dot over it with the other side um, with some black. And I'm just going to dot into my black and then put a dot there and a dot there. Can y'all see that? And just wipe it off. Let's do legs real fast. Um, what color? Let's say orange maybe. Again, I'm going to dip a little bit of white with my orange and make this show up better because orange is pretty translucent. So orange with a little bit of white. And then as that dries, I'll put another coat of orange over it. Let's do some black shoes. Guys, if you are in the VIP group, I will put a tracer in there for you and all the colors I used. Um, so just give me a minute. Okay, pretty even. I'm trying to see if it's even. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that's pretty even. We're gonna keep going. See if we can get some stripes on his hat. Or stars would be cute too. But I had pictured stripes. Well, I'm going to have to let that dry. You just can't. You can't, you can only do so much until it dries. Stars like, oh, I don't really want to make it a wizard. Good point. I'll do stripes. Um, I am going to put, oh, y'all, you know it would be cute. Oh, cute, cute. Let's see if I have it handy. Ooh, glitter, glitter, glitter for the win. I really want what I don't think I'm going to have, but actually this will be, this is just a metallic paint. It's kind of a silver color, kind of a gunmetal. It's called black pearl, but it is really pretty and it will be perfect for our lining of the bat. So let me show you what I had planned to do for that real quick. 
you just grab some on a detail brush and just come around you know each little crevice with this silver hope y'all can see that but I'll hold it up in one sec you will see I am going to add just a little bit of yellow and green to make a really really yellow green kind of a light yellow green sometimes when I do highlights on things I don't want to do white so I'm going to take that and kind of come across the top of this little pumpkin stem or um, you know what's it called vine just to give that a little highlight but not to, I don't want it to be white I kind of like adding that other color in there and then we know our pumpkin stem could use a little bit of highlight so I will do the copper I guess mixed with white kind of to get a little bit of a different color kind of coming on in here I just don't want it to look too orange so I'm probably not going to do too much just kind of giving that a little bit of something something Oh, I'm glad you like it, Mary. Thank you. And then quickly, I'm going to do some stripes into my hat. Now, normally, I really would want this to be um, really filled in better. I think I'm going to have to do it, guys. I think I'm going to have to, because it's really just not going to look right if I don't um, fill in these ugly parts of this. When I say ugly, I just mean it needs another coat. So one second, let's just go really quick. And kind of even that out because we're really we're really doing pretty good on time You guys, be sure if you're over on YouTube or Pinterest, be sure and give me a follow on those. I'm everywhere. I'm on TikTok and everything. So um, follow me on all those places too. I know, um, you know, we, we always try to say, you never know what's going to happen. And if anybody ever disappears, we want to have other places that you guys know where we are. And honestly, my, my YouTube is, I think, the best way to find videos. You just it you can look up playlists where it's like all art or all crafts or different seasons you know if you're only looking for fall you can just pull it by fall so it's really kind of helpful that way um i need one thing with a detail brush i'm starting to like panic okay let's hurry hurry um we need a line coming from the bat to the hat because my thing was that he was like tied on that's what i was gonna imply here like that you can always kind of take the black and outline things if it if it needs it and I just it's just case by case I just look and see if I think it does sometimes I do and sometimes I don't you know kind of come along here sometimes I give it a really whimsical line Let's do, how we doing? Three minutes, okay, I'm gonna take two minutes for this these stripes, or hopefully it won't take that long, but just, and I might clean these up after the live, but. 
since his head is not going to be perfectly straight on his head, I'm giving him a little bit of a curve to kind of imply that, you know, the hat is moving or not, not just straight up and down. Does that make sense? And since my green's not dry, it's not a real dark black, but that's okay. I'm kind of proud of myself because I'm not a real fast painter and um, so I'm just impressed that I got this much done. I really, that's why I did the background. I really wanted to get this done for you guys because you're going in the weekend. This would be a really fun one to paint, especially if you have kids or grandkids that would enjoy coloring one or something or helping or whatever. Switch to a smaller brush, but I'm not. Okay, there we go. What do y'all think so far? Under art, uh, on YouTube it is Art Grace Paint. So you can usually do the at sign Art Grace Paint and do a search and it will show you. Okay, so I will show you a picture when, you know, when everything's dry and I can get the chalk off. But what I did was I rolled up some battery operated lights and tape them down the reason I tape is because I'm gonna remove them I won't leave them here forever but you might want to leave them forever you can hot glue them down with just small bits of hot glue and then you can actually hot glue this to the wood that it's sitting on but of course I just taped mine then when you turn it on it gives you the cutest light up moon now I know y'all cannot see through here I know because it's bright outside but I'll take a picture and this moon will be kind of lit up. It's really cute at night. So there's you an idea. It lights up. You could even, if you chose to, do stars on the hat and then poke a tiny hole and put that light through. That's just an option. So there you go, guys. Super simple. You saw how easy it was to paint, but it turned out cute. So I hope you guys will give it a try. I'm gonna put the link in here if Tracy has not already, but the group is Craft Round the Clock and there will be a presenter that started probably already. So go to the group and see them and I'll come back and read every comment. Bye guys, have a great weekend and I might surprise you and come back in this weekend. So see you, bye.